Hey everybody, welcome back. James here with you again. Today I want to bring you another air gun video featuring the Crossman Phantom 177 with the center point AR22 3 to 7 by or 3 to 9 by 32 scope. And the pellet in this video I'm going to be using is the Crossman Premier Field. Crossman Premier Pointed. I keep saying field, but um, first off, I want to say that the, the idea behind this video um, was due to a viewer named uh, HNRE42 uh, commented on the last air gun video and was saying that uh, because it was I was showing that an air gun could possibly take down a medium sized game animal um, he commented and said that yeah you wouldn't see why not because 22s have been used for years to take down uh, alligators. Now, uh, that's the other thing of this video. You know, if you haven't seen the, you know, the hit show on History Channel called Swamp People, they actually, you know, go out and hunt alligators for a living out in the swamps. Well, you know, whatever method they do to catch the alligator, they have to dispatch it before they bring it in their boat. And the most common one or way is shooting it in the head. Uh, I'm going to roll in a picture here of what that looks like, the kill spot in the head of the, the gator, because they actually have like a helmet uh, skeleton um, armor plate right in front of their head. And it goes all the way back to about, about right here to their brain. And their brain is exactly right at that spot. And that's what these guys that go out and women, they, they show women on the show too that do it, they go out and make a living doing this. They go out, trap the alligators, shoot them in that spot right there with a 22 or a rimfire or anything really. But it's mainly rimfire because they've been doing it for so long and plus the, the rimfire bullets are so cheap. Um, so anyway... <laughs> You know, Indiana, we don't have alligators up here, but I do want to try to test to see if a 177 pellet is capable of hitting that soft spot and actually killing an alligator. Um, if a 22 can do it, I wouldn't see why a 177 caliber air rifle couldn't with enough penetration and force. And so if you've seen that picture I just showed you about the sweet spot for the alligator for it to die on the sh you know, shot on impact, uh, they only have to get about that much penetration out of their round or whatever they use to hit the brain. And that's what kills the gator. And if you noticed on that show, they pretty much shoot the gator within a couple yards or a couple feet just depends on where you know what situation they're in whether they're grabbing it right on the boat or they're shooting it off the of land or whatever so the best representation I can give you guys today for this video is I have this old work boot now you're probably thinking that's not an alligator well I know it's not an alligator <laughs> and, uh, the reason why I'm saying this is probably the best example I can give you because we don't have alligators here and I can't really shoot one is that this is a steel boot, steel toe boot. So, that acts like their armor plate on their forehead and all the way up on the top of their head. So the sweet spot, I have it marked here, if you can see that dot, there's a black dot right here. Let me get it in the light. I'm gonna actually shoot the black dot about probably 10, 15 feet away and a so-called scenario, a real life scenario that they do every day for hunting the alligators. And we're going to see if that pellet will actually, you know, penetrate because I know it'll go through this leather. Leather, I've seen it done before. But, you know, we're going to avoid the steel toe part. But also, I'm going to go ahead and stick this piece of 2x4 that I cut down in the boot right at that, right where that uh, sticker is at to get it there and we're going to see how much actual penetration the pointed Crossman Premier pellets have going 875 feet out of the muzzle with 12 and a half foot pounds of energy. Now if you remember last video we done it only takes 33 foot pounds to fracture the human skull. Um, that's proven that 
right there that we could take down a medium sized game animal with an air rifle if we hit it in the right spot. So, could an air rifle take down an alligator? I'm going to have to say yes on this one um, because, you know, it's probably not the most best way. I mean, like I said, them guys have been, and women have been using rimfire for years, semi auto, bolt action, whatever they use, but it's still a 22 caliber rimfire. But if, let's just say hypothetically that guns got outlawed, what would they use then? Um, air rifles or what else? So I hope it doesn't happen, but I'm just saying, hypothetically speaking, if guns, firearms, or whatever got outlawed in, uh, in the United States. So let's go ahead and take a test shot. Like I said, steel toe boot represents the, the skull front plate or armor, whatever you want to call it, of the alligator. I'm trying to get the best lighting because it's dark outside. And then we got that sticker right there with a piece of wood inside it to see how much penetration it'll go down. And I know that uh, this isn't the best representation of alligator skin, but that leather, they claim that the alligator skin, if it's not got bones in it or uh, plates, it's soft. It's not that hard because if you think about it, alligators bite alligators and eat each other, so it can't be that bad. So let's go ahead and get this set up, and I'm going to shoot it about 10, 15 feet away right at that dot, and we'll see if we killed an alligator with it. Okay, so we have our makeshift alligator here, and we're standing right beside the camera. We're about three, four yards away, maybe. And this is how they do it in that TV show I mentioned, Swamp People. They shoot them about this distance, maybe farther, maybe closer. It just depends on the situation they're in. But as for now, at this given distance, let's just see if this 177 air rifle, um, spring air rifle, could take down an alligator if hit in the right spot. Let's see if we can do it. That looks like we nailed it. Show you the shot there, right on the dot. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna go get the boot. You guys sit tight right here for a second. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. Alright, so we hit the boot right there on the money. Let's see what kind of damage we did here. So it went in the leather, no problem. And then it went in the wood. Set that down there. So let me get something real quick to measure this. So I found a little micro drill bit. Let's see how far it went in there. This thing's pretty sharp, but so according to this two by four. So from the top there, it went in about a half inch, quarter inch to half inch penetration. That was through leather. Then it hit the wood. So could a 177 air rifle or pellet in general kill a alligator? I'd say so if you hit it in the right spot. Now, um, would I say to trade in your rimfire? <laughs> no, but um, it is possible. So I want to give a, a big thanks to HNRE42 for uh, recommending that. I appreciate it. Uh, it was a great idea. Um, 
I just kind of collaborated on that. So, alrighty, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. As always, we will see you on the next video.